Right, so I'm just gonna do a quick breakdown of XTZ. Okay, I think it's got some decent upside. So, <clears throat> as we can see, um, if I look on the weekly, okay, we've got, I've drawn out these levels, the 2019 high here, and then uh, the 2018 high, okay? We don't have much to work with still, you know, early market compared to like say effects or something, okay, you got years and years of data. But this is what we've got to work with. After that, we've got this weekly level here, okay? That's capping the market right now. So it's sort of in like a, you can call it this, bottom flag, whatever pattern you want, it's just being held right now. Assuming it's gonna be held, okay? Why not play to the top side of the range, okay? Which the reward seems decent. So how do you play this? Uh, what would increase the probability of the trade idea? So breaking this down on the daily now, okay? Let me just quickly check one thing. Yeah, we've taken out this week, uh, this key low here, okay? So if it's gonna break down to the top of the range, it could be something like this. So, you know, break it, decent move up, okay? Could be something similar. If it is gonna be range bound, how do you play this? So I like to hinge it around the key uh, yearly levels. So for example's sake, I start off with the more conservative um, scenarios, and then you can, you know, you can base that and you can do the more aggressive ones differently so for example sake when he came here similar scenario what if he gets up to down here he broke up hit that once he gets back above the yearly levels it's consolidation it's break out of consolidation that says to me okay probability wise good to go to the upside of the range dealing with it conservatively what will be the conservative target here that's the initial high that's in the market and then these highs here okay same again Look what happens when he breaks the early level, then reclaims it. He pops there. What's the high probability play? Clear that. And as you can see, see how the early levels price is behaving around that. So how do I play this one? We've taken out this. If I want to be aggressive, where am I wrong? Well, if I personally, if I was to take it, I'd probably keep a hard stop here. But if it was going to make cleanly break lower, much lower than here, and start breaking down, I'd cut it. Okay? So really and truly, what we want to see is we want to see this level hold. A deviation is fine. At what point would it, would I say, okay, my, this is not a deviation anymore. So in this case, say price, say we've got the here, and obviously we did this. If it was going to break down like that, further breakdown, that would be my exit case scenario, okay? So I'd keep a stop when I'm wrong, okay? Now, at what point would I say, okay, I've got a, a tight invalidation level? It would have to have been once it did this and ride up. Then I would have said, okay, invalidation level there. Crypto being crypto, I'm a bit more conservative. My stop like that, I'll keep it a bit wide for now. I think it's decent here, but if it breaks back above, then that's my mental stop there, okay? And I play back to the range here, and then, I don't know if you want to draw a chart pattern like this, possibly here. Who knows, it could even break out then, okay? What's also got my eye is the way the quarterly is behaving. So if I look at the quarterly here, okay, we closed above that quarterly high there. So here, we, we deviated back below it. Here, we closed above it. If it was going to go lower, okay, I know it's still early in the quarter, okay, anything can still happen. I think it should have sold off by now, and it could still happen, okay. But the fact that it's not going lower says to me they're holding this really well. So this could be another up move. Again, if it breaks out the way I showed in the lower time frame, that would be a confirmation. So I would see, consider, see this as a possible continuation pattern from here without the need for a deeper pullback. What supports the idea is if I'm looking at XTZ USD, okay, so if I break this down now, and the 12 and the uh, mm, not much to work on the yearly quarterly okay so what's the next high in the quarterly there so that's a quarterly high there so let me do that in a different color and then after that it's there and then current current one i do a different color so we know it now it's a current monthly high there okay so just these are it's the high time from objectives so I know what I'm going for. Okay. Let's go to the monthly now. What's the monthly telling me? Okay. Still above the monthly open. Still range bound. That's what I can say for now. Let's go to the weekly now. And weekly is, weekly is very clear. It's up a bit. So what we've got here is, okay. What's the level that stands out to me? One's going to be here. And this is the level that stands out to me. Because we didn't write it down the first time. We de made a couple of attempts above it and failed to felt close above okay and then we dipped lower looks like a deviation to me if i take in the bodies okay and not last week week before we closed above it last week we held above closed above it as well this week you know still got you know a couple of days left hasn't closed yet 
but we've taken out last week's low we're starting to push up now this looks kind of really bullish to me okay so let's work with that now and start drawing out our plans so higher time frame still suggests you know still holding quite well so that low comes in at um 2.7278 2.7278 Okay, so that's last week's low Now, the plans I'm going to look for are range bound pl place, okay? So, saying if it's going to be range bound, so that's um, So that's last month's high actually, that's pretty quarterly high, that's last month's high At what point, let's start with conservative ideas, okay? If it's going to go high, what would be the easy play that I'd say okay it's gonna continue higher but if that's last month's high okay if it gets back above and holds above last month's high that would be an easy play towards here probably towards here this high here first because that's the initial high so let's mark that out okay that, this is the easy play the conservative play then we can get on to different other types of plays this is just the way I do it personally okay not just one setup only and that would be a decent high probability play in my opinion okay from there towards there and then extended targets towards there, and then who knows how far it could go, okay? Then we start pulling out like fib extensions and stuff like that. So for example, say if it was going to go, if I take that high to this low, since everybody's going all season, why not? This is our market objective, 1.272, 1.618, 200%, okay? That's further upside. What about before, oh, fuck you. What about before that? So let's go down now to the lower time frame and say, okay, this doesn't look too bad to me. So me personally, if I was going to be aggressive, where would I be wrong? I believe on a clean break below here. So where would I keep my stop loss? Here. Now this is that weekly that we spoke about. Okay, we want to make a weekly close above. If I break this down further now, okay, let's break that intra week now, more of a day trade type. When I say a day trade type. So let's suppose Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Monday's high, Monday's low. So here's low of the week initial low of the week so this is just refining it down maybe a smaller shorter term leading into um, something maybe much bigger monday monday's low i'll just make sure let's go to the daily man i don't know why i'm giving myself a headache i'll then mark out monday's high so we've been stuck within monday's range okay more or less go to the lower time frame now and just say, see where we are. So we've taken that this key weekly low, we've held above it. So which tells me if this consolidation broke, okay, so this is the consolidation, this is the range. If it broke above here, that would be a break out of the range, which means expansion, okay? So that would be a decent entry. Keep a hard stop there. So let me just make this a bit cleaner because it's getting in the way, it's starting to annoy me as well now. If I broke this down, here, yeah, that's better. Still hate trading view. <laughs> okay. I would want it to go above here because that's a weekly level. That would be a high probability play. Once you got above that, then you're probably wrong if it comes to here. Okay. And that would be short term towards one day's high. And because it's back above um, this year, I'd start suggesting back into the range highs. Then comes in last month's high. And then after that, that high. And then who knows after that. Okay. Um, these targets there. So that would be like a lower time from day trade type of thing that could evolve into something bigger. And then, like I said, when it could then confirm the conserv uh, the more conservative play. And that could be, the conservative play could be used as a compounding opportunity for them. Where am I wrong? I mean, I'm wrong if it's probably going to break Monday's low again. That's too deep within the range. So if I take this leg as a range now, because we're still within this leg, aren't we? We're right at the midpoint as well. So if that's going to give in, clean break below that. Spike is fine. If it does that, then most likely we could drop a lot lower. Probably even revisit the range lows. So that would mean get the fuck out. I don't want to be long anymore. Plus we start looking for shorts. Okay. So that's just a basic breakdown of XDZ. Let's see how it goes.